Good morning. Today we are going to talk about the present perfect tense. Now, to begin with the formation. How do we form the present perfect tense? It's very easy. It's have or has plus the past participle of the verb. What is the past participle of the verb? It is like the, present, the past simple for regular verbs. So we just add ed to the verb. So for example, walk, walked, play, played, and so on. For irregular verbs, you have to remember that you have to memorize them. They are in all grammar books and you find them in your book. Now, what is the past participle of a verb like, for example, eat? You have eat, this is the infinitive, ate, A-T-E. This is the past simple tense. And then eaten, E-A-T-E-N, this is the past participle. So remember, the third one is the past participle. Alright, now let's have an example verb to play. Now, the table is in front of us. We have affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Let's start with the affirmative. As usual, I and you have. This is the long form. But if you want to put it in the short form or contracted form, we just use I, of. It's pronounced like this. Or you've played. Uh, he, she, it, it has. Or apostrophe S. We, you, they, it have, or again apostrophe V. And don't forget, this is the past participle of the verb. Now, what about the negative? The negative is very easy. We don't need anything from outside because here we have auxiliary. So we just put not between auxiliary and the past participle. So I have not played. The short form for have not is haven't. So, I haven't played. He, she, it has not, and the short form is hasn't played. We, they have not, and again the short form is haven't. Don't forget it's always played. It's not the infinitive, it's the past participle. Now, what about the interrogative? The interrogative will just take have or has and put it before the subject. So, here we have have I played? Have you played? With he, she, and it, it has. Has he played? And again, have we, you, and they played? And don't forget the question mark at the end. So this is about the formation. Now, what about the uses of the present perfect tense? The uses of the present perfect tense. The present perfect is a link between the past and the present. So number one, it is used to express an action that happens at an unstated time. What does it mean of unstated? It means that the time is not mentioned. I don't know when exactly. Maybe it's not important to mention. Maybe I don't remember when this action happened. So for example here, I have already watched that film. I haven't mentioned the time. I don't know when. But if I use a time expression of the past, we cannot use the present verb. So if I use yesterday, for example, it's the past simple. So I say, I watched that film yesterday. Alright? So pay attention when the time is not mentioned. Number two, it is used to express a recent action with a clear effect on the present. For example, with the word just. For example, I have just finished. It's very recent. I have just finished. Remember in class when I asked them, have you finished? I don't say, did you finish? I say, have you finished? Why? Because it's very recent. So, I were just use the present perfect tense. Number three, to talk about an incomplete action with yet. So, I have an example here. Have you finished yet? The answer is, I haven't finished yet. Yet is only used with the negative and the interrogative. It's never used with the affirmative. So I cannot say, I have finished yet, it's wrong. I have already finished, but I haven't finished yet. So when I have the word yet, either interrogative or negative, we use the present perfect tense. Number four, it is used for a past action 